Back. We're back. Okay, so we're about to go to sports. So right now, the police here are breaking up a homeless encampment at Alexandria Park. Uh, Alexandra, Alexandria, right? Alexandria. Yeah, home of. Don't worry about them niggas. They got nothing to do with this. Uh, it ain't got nothing to do with this. Uh, a photojournalist has already been arrested. I don't know if it's the same guy that got arrested at Trinity Bellwoods for jumping over the fence taking pictures, but it's the same thing. These guys are like, no, you can't just close this off from the world when you do this. If you're going to do this, we're going to take pictures. We're press. We're allowed. It's freedom of the press. It's a requirement. You don't have to let all the society, but you got to let at least one person with a camera. Feel me? No, you fucking pussies. And the police in, what was it? Uh, Whitby. We were outnumbered, quote unquote. Uh, I'm doing air quotes. I hate this shit. It's it's not. It's uh. It, do people do sign language? Do really do that to be? What's the word for quote? Did they did they steal the sign from ASM? Uh, we were outnumbered. The police in Whitby, Ontario, were called to uh a party, break up a party with two thousand plus people at it. Uh, and Ethiopia, if you weren't listening last night watching listening to us or directly whatever uh was it last well this says the 19th but i just got this link now like five minutes ago i had i was looking for the link for the 2000 people party but that one disappeared this one was in its place uh, i assume this will work hold on okay no tab for a third time space bar uh, yeah ethiopia says second filling of the renaissance dam is complete uh, I don't know how many fills it's supposed to take to fill this dam. Like, I've, I've seen it briefly, you know, but I didn't give it a good analysis of this dam. Set for nine on. And we got this here, which is, um, so parts of it look brown, like you go, oh, it's dirty. No, no, no. Um, this is just what, like, homegrown. No, this would be just fine. This would be just fine. We're going to try this on. It's dry as fuck, to it. It almost looks what, like when you see the leaves and sticks, and yeah, you would trim that off if it was professional. But the other thing is, you would have bigger buds if it was more, you know, pro. For If it was just for aesthetically speaking, you would want them bigger than this, like up to about that big. But otherwise, we're going to try that in a second. And, uh, weeks pay you need employmentlawyer.ca most people all right since i'm unemployed i got all day to do that oh so um i got told off in video court today for smoking in my own house i'm not allowed to smoke in here while attending video court no no i have to leave the courtroom come back with my camera off i can't just turn the camera off they can't just turn the camera off I have to leave the courtroom and then come back. Yeah, I have to go through the process to get in again a second time. That's odd. With the camera off and I have to put out the cigarette. I don't have to put it out at all. I'll finish it, first of all. Let it burn itself out. And why would I have to do both? Let's say I was amenable to put in the cigarette. I'd like, which one? If I turn the camera off, or, or, or quite frankly, you should have, why would I have to put the cigarette out? It's the first medicine given us by a creator. If you're not in Gladue Court, miss... You, sir, whatever, what you got to say don't matter. If it's not a federal jurisdiction court, what you got to say don't matter. I'm federal. You know this. You don't have the jurisdiction. So what day is it today? The 20th, right? Because that's my court date. 19, 40, 19, 50, 19, 40, 19, 40, 19, 40, 19, 40, 19, 40, 19, 40, and I think, I might, no, I don't have any other. Do I have any other practically practical links to toss here at the moment? No, but I have, uh, I have been collecting them. Uh, so they're advertising like crazy. If you didn't know, they just came out on the news uh, like yesterday, the day before, saying that their whales are in distress. No, no, they're under the care of a vet. Like, psh, really? Would you imagine being a vet and you are not a marine biologist, by the way, a vet. And and you get assigned to uh, Marine Land. Here we go. Holy fuck, this is taking a while. I don't really give a fuck about the titles, but if they're all titled the same, this makes this even less practical or useless. Useful. 
20 space 1946 uh, uh, what the encampment what did we got? it's lowercase god damn it Right here. Sam's talking more. Check out our. All about that work. I just put caps locks on and I got no caps. I'm getting upset with this. This is retarded. can't see what I'm doing otherwise. Dude, this is the most, this is the worst fucking setup in the world, YouTube.com. You've got the worst interface in the world. How about the fact I can't check my mic before starting a video? Now, what's Facebook do? They, they, they let you check it before, but not during the video. That's helpful. Police is... Not a... Fucked up part to me is the company that owns this website is so good at listening to everything we say and indexing it and, and, and searching it. And I got this weird high IQ thing I gotta fix up every. Oh, that's not gonna work. YouTube this is the worst setup in the world. I still can't see my screen here. Oh, you left my settings set the same. That's all. I, I mean, that's how it's supposed to be. 27 to west of Cawthra. Slows again from Fort Drive to... ...of the illness have been reported in 25 counties from July 1 until the 15th. This according to the Michigan Department of Health. Darren... So the, the medical officer of health or whoever, the public health guy, used the word percolate. Yeah, percolate, percolate. Sorry, did I say percolate? I did too. Percolate. The sirens. That's what we need. Hey, I only saw two cars pull in front of an ambulance today. And a bus and a dump truck. So the ambulance is on the right hand side of the road where there's big cuts in the asphalt, two inch deep. That means they have to slow down every time because they're carrying a medical uh, patient. All right. Now, what do you people do in the oncoming lane that you could have left clear? You rush right in and block that off, right? Where they could have used the oncoming lane and sped right around, made their turn. No, or all you idiots that want to go, oh, there's enough space for me to get through the intersection with me standing in the intersection. Thanks. That's how you people get shot at. Disregarding people's lives. Uh, do I even want to bother pulling up the internet radio? Let's see. You know what? Said, I guess to the ventilation system in, I guess, the hall or uh, the convention center. How did that work? Yes. Clear me up on that. Right, right. You're correct. It was 1976 with the uh, convention, uh, middle of July. Um, you know, the, uh, the fire codes came out 75. I know because this place was started in 74, finished in 76. That's why it's such a mismatch. And, you know, that's a multi. Um, location, you know, the source they found it was um, in the fountain and the in the hotel lobby. Um, you know, those in some rooms may have been infected with, uh, you know, the uh, ice machine had in there. So it, it showed you the black um, on the Legionella. That means somebody's in the right. fucking way. So, uh, Legionella, I guess, you know, we know from Salmonella and uh, E. coli and these kinds of things. So, is that tantamount to this? I mean, is it a respiratory tantamount. illness? T -A -N -N -A. And, uh, I mean, what can the outcomes be? I mean, I'm guessing it's obviously enough of the serious consideration that we're talking about it. Uh, what are the negative right. consequences? Right. You're so um, introspective. I guess it's important because um, we're talking about it. Uh, 
you know, disease, and it's, it's, it's it typically right. is inhaled as an aerosol. Um, but it can be uh, it can be infected by athletes and with a lot in hospitals with um, you know respirators, and may have the water in the hospitals could be infected. So you know the the patients may get um, in that situation, but. Um, it can be, you know, it could also be aspirated. And if you, strangely simply, um, and recovery is, is, um, you know, high chance of recovery. But unfortunately, 10% of patients, especially those that are uh, immunocompromised, um, can pass away from the disease, unfortunately. Well, uh, in addition to COVID, now we have this concern. Now, this here is I phrase that. in Michigan. Right. Here I phrase that. So what he's saying is all the immunocompromised people died. Yes, Detroit. All of them. Okay, which now, tell me. Not, he uh, would have said it that way. What is the reason for it in this instance? I mean, is it rearing its head because of the environment, the climate? Uh, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, you say it's localized, mm -hmm. but it really is in Michigan. It's, you know, ubiquitous uh, throughout the United States, Canada. You know, global, it's which, just, which it's a natural bacteria about. that makes its way in the system, and it can be disturbed enough. It's in the tap water. Um, yes, it is. Uh, for example, perfect example: they change the water source from the lake to the Flint River, and it, it changed the, um, the conditions that they treated properly. It released the biofilms from the water systems, and, and you ended up having. You know, multiple cases of freezing reservations and issues, unfortunately. So, um, so upset conditions can do it. So, this article mentioned flooding, rains. It has uh, shown that LD cases increase. Air conditioner that, water, that of, uh, which by itself uh, is perfectly clean, and that's the problem. Claims and or sometimes, you know, floods. It's distilled the water when it first hits the evaporator. Yeah, as I understand, I know too, the water I mean, condenses on the evaporator, the evaporates of, off uh, the condenser. Water I know. Play gets stagnant, and that can also give rise to it. So, is there no. a way? Uh, we yeah, can if the water's stagnant, that'll do. Homes no. And, uh, businesses. Complete. Do you see what he just well, did? First, um, you know. Oh, but I heard so the, the water had to be stagnant. Why? So, because uh, that's stagnant as well. So they they're the first line of defense, right? They bring in the. The uh, disinfected water is chlorinated, but if it sits there, it's going to goes away. Stagnate the water on So we can make sure that um, folks in the home are checking their water, you know, what? Simple chlorine test, uh, it's a pool test, and to make sure they have chlorine coming in into their home. And if not, then they call the water. And, okay, if you've got tap water, you either do or don't have fucking tap water. Uh, and they don't use chlorine here. They use chloramine because we have so many drug resistant, multi drug resistant strains of fucking bacteria that will kill people that are immunocompromised. Thousands of people have died from this shit. It's happening in Ottawa to a crazy extent. Before they use it. Um, so, you know, businesses can do that as well. Um, before they get toxic pie, and you mentioned that it's a pool test. No, no, this works. Just make sure that you know the building oranges are in there. They're checking the water chemistry, and yeah. So again, your water you drink and put in your body that could kill you is up to your property manager, your landlord to take care of. Even though it's even though it's, there's federal guidelines, there's federal uh, regulations on tap water. There are zero regulations on bottled water. So that's why there's 10,000 parts per million in Nestle of plastic and 100 parts per million in the store brands of plastic because it costs more to dump more plastic in the water. That you, you may not realize, but the things these companies do to contaminate your food cost them more. The, the store brand of peanut butter, every store store brand of peanut butter, I'm going to show you some. Every single brand comes in the exact same plastic jar. It has uh, less synthetic shit in it because it costs money than the crab. Thanks for booking your appointment today. Online at OLG.ca. Now 
Now, 6CD News, regional weather conditions are probably active insect repellent. Canada's no, best-selling deep free insect repellent offers 12 hours here. protection from ticks and mosquitoes. Pyactive is available everywhere. Relax, Pyactive has you covered. And Martha, partly cloudy, 30 degrees, Brampton cloudy, and 29 downtown Toronto, mostly cloudy, and the humidix reading of 36. 680 News is CFTR AM Toronto. It's 4 o'clock. Toronto's number one for breaking news, traffic, and weather. Toronto's lactose, dextrose, mentos, frutos, Toronto's. July 20th, I'm James Monroe. I'm Slajana Timmins. Here are the top stories right now. The province's top doctor is urging the 2.4 million eligible Ontarians who have not yet been vaccinated to step up and get their shots. Why? He says we have to hit a 90% Because it will cost money at the hospital if you don't. Right now, the Delta variant. The city of Toronto clears out another homeless encampment. I avoid this part. It's getting to be like a little bit too out of hand. This time in... Yeah, well, ever since about 2005, that park's been good. Which one's Alexandria? That, that little intersection there is garbage. The Blue Jays and the Red Sox continue their three-game series at Salem Field. And will it be a title-clenching night for the Milwaukee Bucks? Sports of 15. Closing bell ringing on Wall Street. And it's a bounce-back day for stocks. Dow up 550 points. TSX up more than 200. Business at 26. 680 News Time 401. Trapping weather together, Zach. This report brought to you by your local Ontario Subaru dealers. We've got new issues on the westbound 401 west of West. Leslie and the Express stalled vehicle blocking the two left lanes. You'll find delays approaching the 404. Alternately, Express collectors out to Dixon and then from approaching Mavis and the Express and from West and Mavis and the collectors to Trafalgar where that ramp's closed for construction until the end of the month. Eastbound 401, you'll find pretty typical delays, but an issue approaching Salem. The ramp lanes blocked to the police investigation. The ramp to Salem still open, but you'll find it heavy from Liverpool Express collectors to Salem and then 412 to east of Fixin. Southbound 400, not causing a delay, but hearing about an issue in Aurora Road, stalled vehicle in the right lane. Big issue on the south DVP, a crash approaching Bayview Bloor in the right lane. It's slow from approaching Don Mills. We have crews on the scene through here. Meantime, if you're traveling on the West Gardner QEW, expect delays approaching Jarvis to west of Strawn, and then from the 427 to west of Cothra, and the Ford plant out towards west of Guelph Line. Break out your short shorts for the Adventure On event at your local Subaru dealer. Shop safely and enjoy great value on Subaru's award-winning lineup. Let's get a look at that forecast now with Natasha Ramsahai. All right, similar thunderstorm watches in place for almost all of the GTA. The Tell warning us the difference is between a watch and a warning again. In northern York region, Innisfil, you've been dropped from the warning. Uh, heaviest rain in Toronto is coming down at the 404 right now, so watch for that reduced visibility. Could even see some hail, a P to dime-sized hail, and potentially 90 kilometer per hour wind. She said P to dime, dime to marble size. Really this is all heading into the city of Toronto as well. We still have thunderstorms this evening, tapering to showers overnight, and by about 4 or 5 in the morning, we're done with it. We'll clear out the skies tomorrow. Less humid, less hot, less smoky, 26 degrees. Tonight, down to low 68 degrees. It's currently 30. It's going to be less smoky. How can you say that, stupid? 60 news time, 403. It's an atmospheric condition. It is not weather. Says our COVID numbers continue to trend in the right direction, with about 80 percent of eligible people now having at least one jab. But so tell them about the six to one transmission ratio. It's a very so aggressive much. transmission ratio. Yeah, that's what I need in my Dodge Ram. So Jan Ontario's top doctor says about 2.5 Ontarians who are eligible to get the COVID-19 vaccine have not done so. 2.5 of them. I'm the half breed. I get to be the half. We'll find a fat guy. He'll be the other two. Including 1.2 million doses of Pfizer this week, and it's anticipated we'll receive another 1.5 million doses of Pfizer next week in Ontario. He says there are still many people out there who are unsure about the benefits of getting vaccinated. Well, the rate of hospitalization has been low in June. It is still three times higher in unvaccinated individuals compared to those who had received at least one dose. According hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So 25% of the people going to the hospital for coronavirus are in this 80% that are vaccinated. Wow, that's useless. 
83% of U.S. COVID-19 cases. Valentino, 680 News. So, as we begin to reopen the economy and the federal government prepares to gradually reopen the border, one expert tells us a fourth wave in Canada is inevitable. There's always risks involved, and we can't ignore that. Infectious diseases expert Dr. Isaac Bogosh tells me, given the current COVID situation, now is the right time to start reopening the border, and the federal government's cautious approach is the right one. But he says a fourth wave of COVID is going to happen in Canada, noting even fully vaccinated people can spread the virus, and there are millions of Canadians still not vaccinated. Even Prime Minister Justin Trudeau warning, we'll keep seeing COVID cases for months to come. Hospitalizations and severe consequences are still out there. For Dr. Bogosh, Gosh, the question is, how big will the next wave be? Adding, if more and more people roll up their sleeves, we can keep this to a low, manageable level. However, if it gets serious, he wants to hit the brakes on reopening. Governments have to be very nimble, very flexible. Cormac meets Sweeney Parliament Hill. Six eighty news weather alerts. Environment Canada has issued severe thunderstorm watches and warnings for parts of southern Ontario. There could be some damaging wind gusts and large hail into this evening. All of southern Ontario still under a special air quality statement. Six eighty meteorologist Natasha Ramsahai joins us live with the latest. Natasha. Yes, this is all being triggered off by a cold front and it looks like eastern Ontario parts of cottage country into some of the heavier rain strongest wind gusts uh, potentially up to even 100 kilometers per hour or more out through eastern Ontario. Uh, right now the cells are exhibiting some very heavy rain to the north of the city right now. P to dime sized tail potentially up to 90 kilometer per hour wind gusts as this comes through so just be prepared if you get yourself into a warning or your phone goes off saying you're under a severe thunderstorm warning not a watch but a warning that's when it's time to get off the field get inside into a sturdy indoor place and right now the only warning we have for the gta is newmarket georgina and northern york region overnight tonight that cold front clears out the heat humidity and the smoke from the 680 News Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Natasha Ramsay. Just clears it out because there's no well, more the smoke being generated. continues in generated. Alexander Park and Bathurst and Dundas where the city is clearing out another homeless encampment. 680's Mark Douglas joins us live. Mark. James, dozens of tents and a few of those plywood shelter boxes have all been cleared away from Alexandra Park here. The wooden shelters were smashed into pieces by the heavy machinery that lifted them up off the ground and then placed them into a dumpster. <laughs> Sarah lives in the neighborhood of the park here at Bathurst and Dundas. I'm going to because of everything that's been in it lately, and it's getting to be like a little bit too out of hand. Like a lot of the people are just regular nice people, but there are like some that are like what I call the party tents. It's just a lot of drinking, fighting, screaming. The park was completely sealed off with steel fencing for city staff, security, and Toronto police to get in and do their job with no interference from homeless advocates, like what was seen in clashes at Trinity Development Park and Lambert Stadium recently. Mayor they, John Tory says this the fencing Lambert is Stadium to have the uh, people who are experiencing I wasn't aware of that one. protected while they're being well, around, around the sides, right? In order to have That's the my neighborhood. That's my block. Before where there have been threats to their safety, several people were arrested. Those ain't threats, bro. I'm still getting. You evicted, pussy. You're causing problems for my neighbors. Yeah, and you could be legally evicted from that fucking condo project because of it. You stupid piece of shit. Hey, you are can all talk and shit. That's Kathy Diplomatical. Look at me. Hey, I gotta tell you something, bro. You know how many people get blast right there? Are the cops? The tests were completed in the previous day. No new outbreaks have been reported in long-term care homes, retirement homes, or hospitals. This is 680 News, all those Amazon orders you placed help launch a billionaire into space. First time, uh, and so it really opened a Pandora's box of what the CIA had been up to during the height of the Cold War in the 50s and the 60s. Hey, let's listen to this. There was a connection, too, by the way, to to the Allen Memorial Institute in Montreal, Dr. Ewan Cameron, and uh, he had put all these patients... See how they distracted? I'm supposed to sit through the news, angry that they ain't telling us nothing. I wait another 10 minutes for nothing. ...or control their minds. It's kind of Manchurian candidate-like stuff. But let's get the full skinny from Stephen Kinzer, former New York Times correspondent and author of the book, Poisoner in Chief, Sidney Gottlieb and the CIA Search for Mind Control. Right. Ooh, it's yeah. ominous stuff. Stephen Kinsner, uh, good to have you on the Oakley Show in Toronto. Good afternoon. Good to be with you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wow. Uh, so, you know, the idea that this would be revealed to, I guess, the masses uh, who heretofore would not have known about this. Uh, let's just talk about quickly what was MKUltra then. That's the word, heretofore. So MKUltra... 
was a highly secret government program run by the CIA during the 1950s. It came out of the idea that if you could somehow uh, find a way right to through the 90s, control of people's minds, funded by Canada's the healthcare system and shit. Let's just talk about quickly what was MK that Ultra. That shit ran all the way through the 90s and so MK Ultra basically beyond. Was a highly secret government program run by the CIA during the 1950s. It came out of the idea that if you could somehow find a way to seize control of people's minds, which they were never able to do successfully, nothing less than global masters. Hey, come ride these blocks. Uh, This outside the U.S. It's your jurisdiction. Why don't you fuck around in Parkdale like you fuck around everywhere else? Because the fellow park boys will stop your ass, eh? And went on. To carry out the agents and informants that you lose in these streets, pussy. Experiments on living human beings that have ever been conducted by any agency or any official of the U.S. government. We know people were t- were experimented to death, both in the United States and abroad. We don't know how many there were, but uh, the purpose of all of this was God leaves the view that before you could find a way to implant a new mind into someone's brain. You first had to find a way to destroy the mind that was in there. So he spent years being given... Like forcing me to be up for nine days straight? The fucking nurse coming in, smashing the door every hour, pointing a flashlight at my eyes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just seeing if you're sleeping. A human mind I and can a human for brain that shit. and a human Are we just going to kidnap your asses and leave you in the woods? Is predicated on the think I'm fucking joking. The Soviets what happened to the people the I said that would happen to them? North Moved Koreans them so you think I won't find them. Triggered or tripped upon a drug that could uh, control minds as well. And so that this was, I guess, the counterpart tripped from upon. the American CIA's vantage point. Because here he's going to pretend LSD <laughs> is some hippie drug. Chief, it's not I a German pharmaceutical. Where did they get the idea that there is such a thing as mind control? Because after 10 years of these grotesque experiments, even Sidney Godleib admitted that it's all a myth. So I think it came from two places. Maybe. One is the one that you well, I never studied the man's words like you right. did. You're still looking that, up the uh, one. The CIA became terrified uh, that the Soviets or Chinese communists were working on this uh, project and, in fact, maybe had already succeeded. The commies or the red Chinese. Say it right, stupid. In the world as evidence to show that the Soviets had worked on this open, project sorry. and had succeeded, which turned out not to be true. So that was the immediate motivation, the Cold War fear that the other side was doing it. But I think that there might even be a deeper reason. Because how else could these people be loyal to themselves? That doesn't make sense. That all these people would have emerged from as they formed the CIA right around uh, 1950. So they would have been exposed to a whole generation of movies and uh Novels and short stories like Sherlock Holmes stories, Edgar Allan Poe Because those stories, came out in the movies 50s. like Gaslight and Are you The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. So the 50s um, killed, killed books. That you can ease control of someone's you mind by sort idiot. of uh, waving a watch in front of them or putting a pill in their drink. is endlessly Yeah, like on British TV, and which we were all watching here in the 50s. You retarded, and bro. Over long periods of time. So I think these CIA guys were conditioned I, by their culture to believe that they don't have a culture, bro. Writers could They're white boys. No culture. And Blank. Then Blank. They got this Blank. evidence that Empty. turned out to be mistaken that they had overinterpreted. And that led them to believe that even authorizing a project like MK Ultra, which was astonishingly brutal, uh, was justified because uh, so the we're so brutal. We're the most brutal. What did you do? Run and some crack houses? You fuck with the heads of some rich Ultra white boys. Was on the uh, state where the files were hey, the one good thing when you target rich Stephen people back then? No, no, black people, right? Times correspondent and author of the book Poisoner in Chief, Sidney Gottlieb, and the CIA Search for Mind Control. As you say, uh, at the time... Poisoner, you know, like, like the French and the Russians. The Zeitgeist, I mean, the Manchurian Candidate, I guess, came out in the early 50s. Itself poisoner, if you're going to use that, that term, and he wasn't using the drugs, Even was he? Was he? All right, but let me tell you an interesting story. By the time the uh, Manchurian candidate came out in the late 1950s, uh, we now know from testimony by one of the guys in MK Ultra, the CIA had already decided that a Manchurian candidate scenario actually was impossible. 
So this a CIA officer later testified, that movie and that book gave us a lot of trouble because it was about 10 years behind what we were doing. We actually thought that was true at one time. But by the time the movie came out, we had decided it wasn't, but there was such a wave of public interest in it, we had to respond. Stephen, you know what's interesting? I mean, uh, Sidney Godley, you call him the godfather of LSD, and he bought up the entire uh, no, supply, he's not. and he was really uh, And he bought it up from where? Still, but LSD, they made it them so wow. You know, in brothels where he knew that the clientele were not going to complain about it. Uh, you spoke earlier of somebody who uh, was literally killed, you know, through They would have complained CIA if they knew what was going on. Uh, yes, they would have. Recruited or you don't know rich white people in the well. 50s. And I said at the outset, Dr. Ewan Cameron, notorious story in Montreal at the Allen Memorial Hospital. The reason Hospital you guys had your hands cuffed uh, and your no, wings clipped well, and all that. He was conducting ex these experiments in the late 50s, early 60s on patients as well, this kind of mind control or mind expansion through LSD. So uh, what was... God did you know, see what he just did? He just minimized the concept of mind control. Oh, we're going to control your mind, or you're, you're going to expand your mind. You know, it's not the same thing, buddy. He thought that the fact that it was so powerful in such small doses. These guys are just as pathological as child molesters. Oh, wait, the CIA does that too. I wasn't talking about the CIA. I'm talking about radio industry. In Canada. In other words, the key to mind control. So he, in 1953, persuaded the CIA to buy the entire world supply Why? of LSD, which the CIA did. They bought it from the Sandoz Laboratory in Switzerland. And then Gottlieb... That's the only place that was it making it... a series of experiments. Fucking now, some idiot. of them were administered through clinics in a setting where there were doctors and people... We want to buy the whole world supply. Do you know what those Sandoz people said? Uh, so how much is that? Because we make the shit stupid, just like hundreds of other pharmaceutical labs. The cash uh, that you're talking about that came out. So, in the you know, so uh, what I was going to say, they're not talking about how this was done here in Canada. It was done here in Canada. The people it was done to are still alive. They've, the CBC has covered it in documentaries. This shit happened. It's documented. These guys won't talk about that. No. And said triple and quadruple doses of LSD every day for 77 days. What's a triple in an effort dose, to see bro? Whether that would destroy their mind. What's, what's a regular now, dose? The, re, the protocol is not there. It's missing. But I can only presume that yes, the answer would be yes. That certainly would destroy your mind. Uh, they had no idea what was happening to them. And when I was sitting, well, you're all white people that never messed with this shit before. And that's thing I was asking myself was. What Every time you do this to black people they? or natives, what Their happens? Nothing. Then you tell All us we're mentally ill and defective because we're not psychotic. Are documented in files that Godly destroyed when he left the CIA. So my book is really an attempt to reconstruct oh, a, a story that uh, has very little a documentary basis and to tell the biography of this guy, Sidney Godley, who really was a guy who didn't exist. He, he lived in total anonymity. So um, piecing together this How story was uh, not only horrific, but also very difficult because and you didn't he strove piece it together, to leave stupid. as few fingerprints as possible. What I found interesting, obviously, uh, doing this you know, with the... Uh, complicity and uh, I guess at the behest of the CIA was in contravention of the Nuremberg Codes, which came about as a result of the atrocities in Nazi Germany. But you also state where uh, this really found its root in some of these Nazi scientists who were recruited by the CIA. Is that right? I mentioned to you Germany had the most advanced Scotland pharmaceutical companies in the world. Scientist, uh, that, uh, the path to implanting a new brain was to destroy the old brain. So how do you do that? Then also as a good not how it works. Godly answered his own question. Oh, and underneath. How do you do that? How do you start any complex scientific project is you ask yourself what research already exists? Who's already an expert? So Godly wanted to know who's out there that has carried out experiments in destroying human beings and knows how to kill people and torment them and these control of them in physical and mental ways. Well, the obvious answer Darpa. was doctors who had worked in the Nazi concentration camps, plus their mm. Japanese counterparts, who in some cases had done things even more grotesque. Yes, but we know for a fact the Nazis studied what the government of Canada and the Catholic Church did 
to Indian children. The chemist. Wow, the Indian Capital Trust accounts were being raided. You know what the difference between what happened in Europe and what happened here? Uh, our bank accounts are still there. Well, the bank accounts resident in the UK, the accounts are resident in the UK. So, oddly enough, they can't actually steal the money. From, it sounds backwards. but no, He came to the United States, became a chemist. Two trillion dollars. CIA and didn't seem to have any problem. That's two million millionaires. Shoulder to shoulder. That's us. With those I'm worth two million dollars. Nazi concentration camp doctors. Finally, I've got to ask, I mean, uh, do we feel confident that there's total transparency now? Hey, look, this group under the ground by itself, and I'm smoking it present, on my right? land. Let's say you're in charge of what? Governments. You're apologizing for killing us off. What are you talking about? about? That at all. Are we all I dead? I'm God. alive. If you, you think that you're dead? In the 1950s, you didn't kill us all because we're all standing. Uh, it's not possible that there could be anything going on that's as extreme as what we know was going on with MK Ultra. So if you were to tell me that uh, today, well, the there's no such equivalent experiment program, went on before and that, that uh, secret uh, services in the United States and elsewhere are not quietly working on new forms of mind control, I'd be very surprised. I'd be dubious. Now, don't forget when Gottlieb left uh, the CIA and when he when he ended MK Ultra he had concluded there's no such thing as mind control and i do believe he was right but he was right at the time he was speaking and that was many decades ago the advances in cyber technology no, and artificial no, I was there when they were smoking and they handed me exponential like, since like then so uh, it, even though it don't look crazy but that's a mind for intelligence purposes was thought to be impossible and prop so the the the, the way that you uh, like i do the same thing if i can get some pretty fat buds pretty and for comma fat buds and then great but uh if that's just aesthetic aesthetics for marketing plants don't always want to advertise their presence uh so because human beings have like tried to get rid of this plant uh some of the less pretty looking strains are actually just as potent They're not as pretty because people don't see them and they leave them there so you could say it's like the opposite of attracting attention okay and we know that communist china has really implemented massive cyber attacks on email servers it seems to be a consensus now with the enlightened western nations i turned it off for 10 seconds well what we'll happened to uh, somebody who's an expert in the field to tell us to what extent they have done these kinds of things what the point and purpose behind it is all that and more in moments on the Oakley Show. 20 it won't be moments. We got like 10 minutes. Yeah. Well, you know what mistakes I made plenty, but I'm a Everything's black and chrome. Everything. The coffee yeah. pot, the cell phones, the... Yeah. Yeah. This sitting, look at this sitting on this. Like everything is black and chrome. It's black and steam. So I got the weed like I have to know it. The timing was such that the girl that wanted to smoke a joint, I walked her home and then she went on and then I found the weed and she wanted to smoke a joint. I mean, it's unfortunate. I'm sitting here smoking by myself, like with you guys, whatever. Uh, like, this could have been a totally different day. This video wouldn't exist. I would have to tell this story later. Oh, yeah, one time me and this girl went and got high, but that didn't happen today. So we're here studying MK Ultra. Walk away from that plate. Wait, we didn't start off studying MK Ultra. You're a distraction, mister. Even though it was full, but I already scraped all the access away. So all you get is what's left. And that's me. Take it well, once you brush it up, it don't look like nothing wrong with it. Eh? They say fake it till you make it. So I faked it till I have a payment. Now I'm a masterpiece in the making. What you thinking? I got a lot of shit cooking for Attack you. Attack it so you can jack it. Oh. 
Mackie leaves you building. I'm going to walk around with a must bad be jacket. It said this one got holes in it from the night you used to cut my wrist. Remember that officer always oh, don't exist. Because I said so when you said I'm white. But in the middle of the night, I light up the whole house. Because it runs deep and I don't think you understand. I got a whole bunch of bad people on the tree. So because it's sort of like leaves and stuff too, I kind of overestimate it. Just kidding, I'm living life clean now, relax. I used to get my nose dirtier than I use box of Kleenex, but... Now I mask up. All you pussies better back up. Cause you ain't getting no back up and I don't need none and I don't need it. I'm gonna see what a whole bunch of your homeboys is what I call them pussies on the run. Yeah. I don't count my sheep before the hatch. I put in the effort to capture and grasp them and hold in the class. Good hand, everything that I have written in the sand. Then the last. That's why I learned geometry really well. Because it's a, it's a cone, cylinder, a glass. Which is really a disc with an imperfection in the center. But if it's perfectly located in the center, is that imperfect? So I just fill up my glass, yeah. So I just fill up my glass, So I'm gonna fill up my glass, yeah. So you should fill up my glass. So let's fill up my glasses. So let's fill up my glass. That's the end? I thought that was longer. Did I start it in the middle? That's good. Cheeseburger, and then you change the track. It says Mambo number five. This is not Molly. It's not the same again. Priceless. I was showing the rudimentaries of piano and I was sort of taught how to play the electric organ, which you won't find in anybody's house these days. They're about the size of one of these Rubbermaid totes, the electric pump or whatever inside. It makes the same sounds as this thing. That was around the same time they taught me how to use every single type of typewriter that ever existed. Uh, see, there's a bunch of other tips and tricks I was showing. They taught us, aside from the computers, internet, the graphical shit and colors and shit that you think didn't exist back then, yes, dude. Uh, why is there six of us on one computer? Oh, there's, there's 40 computers. We're all sitting in front of one playing this fucking GUI game, basically, that they used to set up GUIs. I know they based GUIs on what they learned from they, they, These people, I don't remember who they were. There were like three adults in the room, which, yeah, it wasn't our teacher. Who the fuck are these people? I forgot. This is a long time when they're watching us do this. But that, that in the background, try not to distract us. He taught us everything. Swimming, canoeing, sailing, and all solo. Like, how to... Okay, swimming, there's some psychology if, you're, if your boat sinks and you're swimming to try to get out of there. Yeah. Uh, the canoe... The, so, sailing, is oh, that's complex. It'd be hard to do solo. But the canoeing is the tricky one if you don't know how to do it. If you don't know how to paddle a canoe solo, it'll just go in a circle. You'll get angry. Can never be 
baby, you can do your thing. So do your thing, and I can do my thing, Louise. It's beautiful. I don't know. It's got a rich, rich beat. Yeah, it's got a rich, rich beat. Like if I was growing coffee myself instead of buying it at the store. Again, Robert Falzon, head of engineering at Checkpoint Software Technologies. It's a global cybersecurity provider. What are you out of the 80s? We're talking global cybersecurity because it's been Checkpoint breached. Checkpoint Software Microsoft, Technologies. Uh, well, that's one of the big ones. And technology. the communist Chinese, it is said, have uh, breached their security and to a point where, you know, maybe ransomware was paid out. Nonetheless, uh, servers were accessed, a lot of data stolen, and uh, there's also that intellectual up property. Then? We've known that they've been nefarious as far as that's concerned. Can you give me some indication, uh, Robert, of the scope and magnitude of this particular problem from the bad actor, the Chinese Communist government? It's incredibly, uh, an incredibly large scope. So it's not just, um, it's, it's some of the cyber criminals as well, for example, uh, for-profit organizations that are, are using this as a mechanism to, to, make, to make money off of it, for example, right? So uh, there's that aspect of it. Secondly, you there are Toronto, nations you know this, from, this is the shit I used to call yellow. Yellow. It's got a name. Uh, there may be um, organizations who are hosted in these nation states that maybe are not coming under the scrutiny that we feel they should. Uh, and as a result of that, uh, the threat is, uh, is quite significant. And to the point that uh, in the U.S., for example, um, the, the White House actually issued um, a memo authorizing various different U.S. government agencies to actually log in and patch uh, these uh, exploits before, like these servers for Microsoft for these organizations without even asking them. So it's almost like imagine if you had a recall on tires for your car and you woke up one morning and found out your tires didn't replace it. <laughs> so I see interesting things if I had a camera running at the time, but they're not so amazing to mention. But I was watching the police and the tow truck companies moving vehicles from one side of the street to the other up on uh, Davenport here. So, full, so a tow truck is like a pickup truck pulling a full-size pickup truck with the utility trailer and then backing it into a parking space. These guys are crazy. Just like a military movement. Just get it out of there because they have to do construction. The company, which was you know, one of the darlings of the Toronto Stock Exchange at the time, I think was the most capitalized company on the exchange and everything just was pilfered away. Uh, that's one of the allegations Reacts anyway. It seems like it's uh, pretty well documented. So, was that I mean, the, are the they uh, very much in that practice of subverting the West on several fronts, intellectual so property, stealing that, uh, going into defense contractors. I know all of it. There's been a bunch of uh, I've been watching stocks You know, their whole uh, infrastructure as well, uh, the security apparatus of various governments. I mean, it's a multi- So with, uh, with my uh, life expectancy considered, it's 38, 42, or 53. This is a 38. I consider myself to be aging twice as fast. I think I'm pretty close to accurate because 38, 38, 76. Right. But in my mind, I'm about 17, 18, what's 18, 18, 18 and a half, something. 19, 18, 19. 19 and 19 is 38, right? Yeah, so my body's aging four times as fast as my mind, apparently. In fact, if you were aware, maybe they're looking to attack a particular entity, but. Your girl would say, he's immature. That's what she would say of that attack, right? So they end up shutting down a hospital as they did in, in, in the UK, for example. Uh, you know, maybe that wasn't meant to happen, but it certainly did. And as a result of that, people's lives are at risk. So this is a significant issue risk. Uh, that faces uh, really the, the entire uh, globe. Were they honest, new deaths or you count the same deaths? Nation, you know, or more than just one actor uh, who's involved in these activities. It is a wide, wide spread uh, challenge. And this is why well, these child molesters, the point you're making, in the scheme uh, of things, are considered low on the scale. I want to get to harass me all day. And that's that why I keep putting up with it, in a way. I'm trying to leave I footprints just a back, couple of months back. Yeah, yeah. The, this is the, the thing, uh, Robert, I'm interested in. I mean, none of these actors seem to be and freelancers. Uh, it seems like they're doing it at the behest and with the blessing, the complicity of their governments, are they not? Well, hey, so you. Something. To be honest with you, these tools, uh, is, despite how sophisticated they are, can be wielded by almost anyone. You know, in the past, for example, if you were to steal like if somebody this stole a Mac nuclear submarine, crack cocaine uh, into that would the make ghetto. the news. Be going, wow, somebody thing. stole a nuclear submarine. That's a huge danger. But the fact these Anybody weapons are can download. Uh, like weapons of war, they they are this, of this. You know, they can have the same impact. But it's as simple as an email uh, to steal it. Right, so these are technically weapons, but the problem is I've got so, so many viruses saved up in my email account to send to people later. It's them up, you know, uh, a thirteen-year-old could 
could grab a hold of one of these tools, uh, find them online, and begin using them. I'm just going fishing. So they send them to me. Sophistication to execute something at a more advanced scale or a larger scale it takes more cooperation and obviously um, it is a bigger concern. But the fact is that these tools can literally be wielded by almost anyone. I'd hate to think well, four year old can use a cell phone, basement right? somewhere in a misbegotten country in Central Asia can commandeer a thermal nuclear device, but uh, you're sounding... <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> A that, device. That, that the other things are possible. The individual right? like device is issues, nothing, bro. You don't know what you're talking about. about. Supply, for example, there are concerns with, um, you know, the water supply if the changes are happening. A lot of these systems that we're talking about are vulnerable because they may be older, right? Older technologies uh, that may not have the same security capabilities. And many of the tools that are being used to attack them are actually uh, preventable. So many of the attacks that I'm seeing online uh, where people are being uh, uh, affected by them Many of them are actually preventable, so I think there has to be some accountability on our behalf as well uh, to make sure that uh, industry uh, and governments and so forth are taking the necessary the necessary steps to protect themselves from these things because they're all. So the government's this close to forcing you to get a vaccination. Uh, they got all the borders shut. Let me see your papers. I need to see your vaccine paper on your phone on your 5G wireless device. Now they're going in and patching software on your behalf. That's interesting. So how do we know their patch doesn't have a back door? Since they're the FBI, I mean, they need a way to get back in a second time to make sure it's working, right? That'd be my you got it. We'll come back in a moment. A couple of items closer to home with the uh, park, Alexander Already Park at Dundas on. and Bathurst uh, being evacuated today, or at least uh, the people who had set up the homeless encampment were told to uh, pack up and get out. Rightly or wrongly, we'll Who's discuss in a moment on the Oakley Show. Global News Radio, 640 Toronto. On July 21st, buy a Tim Hortons coffee, change a life. Every day, more and more people across Ontario are well, receiving mad, their COVID-19 vaccines. Health Canada approved vaccines are you conveniently dump, available you in know why hospitals, you until the end of the doctor's offices, thing. pharmacies, and mass vaccination sites. And every dose brings us closer to what we've missed. So join millions of Ontarians. They want to say herd immunity, but they're not allowed to because it's not a shot. thing. Visit Ontario.ca slash book vaccine. Paid for by the government of Ontario. You've been listening to us on the AM dial for now. decades. But we know parts of Toronto get in the way. <laughs> Stop cursing the streetcar wires. Download the Radio Player Canada app. So the, the streetcars are the problem. The streetcars are the problem. The problem is you people are trying to pass a vehicle with a vehicle parked in front of you. And you do that over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And every time that, so the idiot next in line behind the streetcar sees this happen five times and go, oh, the streetcar is slow. I'm going to go around it. The streetcars will do 110 the streetcars will do 110 kilometers an hour. The subways will do up to 100, but they're speed limited to 50. The buses are speed limited to 90. The streetcars are the fastest transit vehicles we have. So I'm talking about the PCC, the Pullman cable cars or whatever they call them, the the last generation, these new multi-segmenting things, I'm not sure what the exact specs are, but they're probably real close. One. Very sexy when you show me your phone, dressing, caressing, and the best of me. I can be your best friend if you let me see what you believe. Honestly, the perfect life could be, then honey, I'll support you. When you let me know, I'll be your best friend. Honey, I'll support you. 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 Honey, I'll support you.
the Delta bear. So in Alberta two, three months ago, uh, and this is what I, so I'm so glad I've been recording these. Otherwise I'd be like, yeah, a while ago they said this and a while ago they said that you can verify all this 2000 cases a day or whatever. They said, we're not, we can't, they can't devote the lab resources to determining which variety every, which cultivar really is. They said they had to assume all of them were the Delta variant. Now, some, Somehow the numbers here are going down. Nobody's talking about what's going on over there. They just don't talk about it. Okay. Now, if they had a couple of minutes every day talking about what's happening in Alberta, I would trust them more about, no, 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 no. So what can I assume? Things must have got worse there. Oh, did the numbers go down? But how many people died? And what did you learn about this Delta? You learned that one per. you learned that one person, you learned that one person is not infecting 1.1 people. They're infecting six people. And those six people infects 36. So instead of having 2.2 people, we have 36 people. And then from there, it's 106, 180. What did they just say? These tools can be wielded by anybody. Wow, this is so exciting. You've now closed when I'm looking right at the screen, not closing my eyes. That's how creative you are to do the same thing again over. You're mad that people are calling you stupid. The people that made this software just said anybody can use it. So everybody that called you stupid was correct. You're using software. You're using software that Anonymous left you in order on purpose to track you. It's malware. No matter what, every time you use it. Well, I guess I'll just put this down. And again, look at the trigger. This idiot will scream and yell at me about how he's a child molester in the street. Telling me about he's taking me offline. Okay. Um, the whole time you're doing this, the whole time you're doing this, the whole time you're doing it, there is no video. You're interrupting nothing. Fucking retard. Out of the child molesters, you're retarded. Most of them have some sense of self-preservation. Which beside him, sourced as well, and put that on the you label and charge more for it. People are paying it and commercial because they believe they're missing. And then here's another one where the entrepreneurial mind really has me. Uh, I'm impressed. I got to say honestly, airbag vests. You know, these are for motorcyclists who, at sometimes high speed, you know, when you spill, you want to be protected. Sure, and there's only so much protection. But the airbag vest that is marketed by an apparel company called Klim. You know, it, it inflates upon impact. It's like an airbag, but you've got an air vest. And he's, he's uh, doing right now is public masturbation. That's why it's always got down or in plan. out. Those are the two actions he can so do on it's the a subscription of all payment. Do. And if you don't keep up with the payments, <laughs> now he's using the vest, one device to do that. The vest one. upon impact. You're basically on your own at that point. You don't pay, you don't play, and it stops working if you miss a payment. Now it may just be uh, something that is less than altruistic or with the best of intentions, but uh, I guess that's capitalism in a nutshell, right? You're on your own if you don't pay a little more attention. Oh, and by the way, like Let anybody me just ask that you was paying attention to the we're going to do this. Top of the hour, and then we'll get a round to the news and you know, speak to the CIA agent with the Magnus Syndrome. He contracted the in Moscow, he says. I shouldn't be able to determine this. And some of the activists are not too happy about it, thinking that the parks ought to be available to People who want to put up encampments. These are indigents, homeless, and they've got nowhere to go except that the city said there's more than plenty of veils in the local shelters. But they That's declaim the notion that shelters are really. So my question. I was going to smoke a second joint here. I guess now I'm not. Oh, here we go. It's, so I mentioned that he takes eight and a half fucking minutes to fucking uh, get the internet just turned off or whatever, close the tab or whatever. And now he's trying to run the exact same script. He's trying to. But the thing is, he did it yesterday. You, those tools don't work indefinitely.
I'm the beast, you got a problem, load the weapon, that's how you solve it, that's what it talks to me. And it's how you face on the bottom, me. point me in the direction where the bottle be. Is it just how it's born to be? Some come to this world with diamonds and pearls, some come to poverty. With no devil, Lord, I see, I see, I pray, I pray, but it's all I see, I see, I And, you know, a lot of them would like to get uh, proper housing. And there are some that will never go in to proper housing. I mean, oh, I grew up with these people. I know them all. They, they come and, you know, we talk to them. I, I try to encourage them. You know, and sometimes, sometimes when I don't see them for three or four days, I'm wondering what happened to them. Did he die? Did he, did he have an overdose? Mm. And, you know, we, we constantly, I try to constantly keep an eye on them. I'm doing my best. And, you know, the police that they're trying to help them. Our mayor is helping them. There's, you know, everybody has big hearts in this city. Thing we so where do you stand sure. on this? I've issue. also seen you uh, firsthand giving them a hand up or, uh, you know, what uh, qualifies as uh, some kind of assistance and help. So that was Tom, all an advertisement. Uh, I meant for doing that. that. Let me just say, Tom, Concept. at your place, when it comes to the clothing, uh, to this us. is one of the reasons that people should uh, looking after folks, radio listeners, in a special way, too. And Let's head out to the roads and check on the drive with chopper traffic. For those living inside Alexandra Park, city officials moved in to dismantle the encampment there early this morning. Many were forced from their makeshift homes, and at least nine people were arrested. Staff Superintendent Randy Carter says the city's goal was to keep the peace in effect along with a special air quality statement. Some thunderstorms and showers tonight, low of 17. Tomorrow, more sun than clouds, a high of 24, with a low of 16 overnight. Sun and clouds on Thursday, a high of 25. It's 29 degrees in downtown Toronto. I'm Danny Longo. This is Global News Radio, 640 Toronto. <laughs> I believe Canadians have suffered a consequence as well when they're in Havana. There's somehow a, a strange sensation that has overtaken them. And uh, they believe that this is not psychosomatic or anything like that. It's legitimately uh, a consequence of maybe some bad state actors who are doing things surreptitiously against their better health. And one who knows this intimately is Mark Polyamoropoulos, a former CIA agent who suffers long-term effects of Havana syndrome. He was a CIA agent stationed in Moscow. Mark Polymeropoulos is here to tell us all about that. Mark, good afternoon, and welcome to the Oakley Show. So this is a pretty serious issue. Well, serious enough that it's been assessed by experts, and there's been uh, credence lent to the fact that there is something rather than just a... Things have changed. The new CIA director, Bill Burns, has, a, has taken a radically different tack. He is supportive of us, the victims. He has, he has put together a task force to figure out what's happened. I'm sure he's working with our, our friends and allies, including the Canadian government. And so, so we're going to get to the bottom of who did this, and, and then it, that, that, that ends up being a very difficult policy decision, because in my view, this is an act of war that's been perpetrated against U.S. and frankly, Canadian officials as well. Ooh, well I think the leading candidate, no, you know, is, is no big surprise to the Russians. Um, you know, and, and look, it, 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 you know, I, I'm not put into any of the classified information anymore. I, I, I'm, I'm out of government. Uh, but there's several things that lead me to this conclusion. First, we know the Russians had weapons like this. They had developed it. Um, so there's no question that the U.S. officials, at least, uh, who have been afflicted by this were involved in the intelligence community is putting a lot of resources. Um, but boy, this has been a, you know, it's a pretty insidious weapon. It's a, an invisible wound and it's caused a lot of harm. Amen to that, obviously. As you say, other nationals apart from Americans have been impacted, including our own members of our diplomatic corps as a consequence 
of this Havana syndrome uh, while in Moscow in 2017. He's also author of Clarity in Crisis, Leadership Lessons from the CIA. So tell me about what you think uh, is the nature of the weaponization here used against you and others. So, you know, in, in about a year ago, the National Academy of Sciences finally published a report, and this a group of about 19, uh, you know, scientists and, and specialists uh, headed by uh, Dr. Viv Relman from Stanford, and, and they, they concluded that this is likely uh, a weapon. There's no smoking gun. So it's going to take some, some good, you know, good hard detective work to figure out what happened. Um, because, again, at the end of the day, the numbers are getting too high. The symptoms, that, you know, are, are too severe. And so I think we're passing, and we'll get there. But, uh, but, boy, this is one of those mysteries that, you know, if it hasn't happened to me, I'd be certainly curious about it. But it's, it's, it's pretty hideous. And, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's caused me a lot of distress. I'm getting better. But uh, not the way I thought I'd, uh, I'd end my career, that's for sure. Right. Well, you talk about the shared commonalities amongst uh, 200 plus now in the diplomatic world. I'm actually one of the lucky ones. I've seen, I've, I've met with, of course, you know, some of the other victims, particularly from Havana, and they're in terrible shape, and it's heartbreaking, uh, which, which, of course, makes it even more disturbing to me when I hear things such as, you know, it's psychosomatic or, or people, you know, that, that people are making it up. But this is real. Um, and I sympathize, especially amongst the junior officers who, you know, they're in their 30s, have their whole careers and lives ahead of them, and now some are medically, dis, you know, another medical disability. Um, so this is tough. You know, I expect them to get to the bottom of it. And then you come up with the idea of what do you do about it. And that's, that's a foreign policy issue. You know, that's, uh, that's going to be, uh, uh, that's a, that'll be a tough one. Uh, because, you know, again, it's, it's, it's assuming it's a state actor or an actor that's caused, you know, U.S. and, and our allies harm, we're going to have to do something about it. Right. You know, we have been talking about uh, MK Ultra and the CIA experiments, believe it or not, ironically, in the previous hour and how this is, you know, oh, a transgression right. of the Nuremberg Code. I'm guessing it would fall under the same rubric here that uh, you cannot be syndrome. What about treatment? Uh, I mean, through government support right. and all the rest. So what yeah. is the situation? That's a great question because it's an amazing story for me. Oh, I ended up like having a bit of a call um, to get treatment because the original did, did not get me it. So I went public with my complaints and they have been, so I was very senior in the organization. So they eventually did make me treatment. It's an open up avenues to go to Bain. We'll invite some calls. Kids, get your thoughts quickly with a smattering of calls and we'll get around to our panel at the bottom of the 